Okay, so here's what I want you to do. If he has, I want you to shout out your praise to him as to how he's changed your life. I want you to say it out loud in this room. I know that's really uncomfortable, but we're going to just start doing it right now. We're, we don't do this a lot, but I just want you all over this room right now, just start shouting out how Jesus has changed your life in praise to him. The band's going to play a little bit so you're not self-conscious. Um, just go ahead. Just say it. Say it out loud. Jesus, you've changed my life. How's he changed your life? What's he done for you, church? Tell him. Tell him. And say thank you to him for what he's done for you. And lift up your praises to him right now. All over this room. Oh, you've been so good to us, Lord. You've taken us from death to life. You've given us new life. We praise your name, Lord God. Praise you all over this room. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's all about you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, thank you so much. Now we're going to take a moment right now. We're going to go into another moment of prayer. We're going to spend some time in confession. This is a moment where the atmosphere changes in the room because 1 John tells us if we'll confess, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He knows, and those sins have separated us from him, and we want to say, I'm sorry, forgive me of these. I repent of them. I turn from them, and I'm, not, I'm just done with that. I'm done with that way of life. I don't like the results it's producing. I don't like where it's leading me, and I want to say I'm sorry, Jesus. You died to forgive those sins, and I don't want to keep throwing them in your face and mocking you by continuing to go down that road. I want to repent of them. I want to turn to them, and I want to be forgiven of those. So would you right now, wherever you're at, whether, it's, whether you want to sit down and do this, whether you want to bow and do that, whether you want to just stand there and lift up your hands, just quietly in your heart, pray to him right now. Ask him to forgive you of your sins, and he will cleanse you. Just take a moment. Father God, we come before you this morning. We know that we have sinned individually and corporately. And today we come to you and we ask corporately for you to forgive us of those sins. We ask you individually to forgive us of those sins. Those sins that we did in full knowledge of what we were doing. Those sins that we did in ignorance, those sins of omission that we committed, we ask for forgiveness. Those sins that were conceived in our mind, we ask for forgiveness. And we say we are so sorry, Lord Jesus, for hurting your heart. Would you cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Would you help us to be a people presented to yourself holy and pure and righteous. We come here unworthy, but we say thank you as a people who stand beneath the cross. Thank you for the forgiveness of Calvary's cross and the freedom we feel right now because of the shed blood of Calvary's cross. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. You want to say thank you to Jesus for that? Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you, Jesus. Now what I'm going to ask you to do right now, I, first service looked at me like deer in headlights when I said it. We're going to pray together. I'm going to ask you to pray with someone near you. 
Now listen, if that just freaked you out that someone's going to come to you to pray with you right now, that's really freaking you out. Now's a good time to sit real still in your chair, put your head down, and look just straight forward. We will, we will take that as a sign, okay? We at Calvary believe that we have a great God who is waiting for us to ask him. The scripture tells us that we have not because we ask not or we ask in a miss. And what we want to do is we want to line our lives up with what God is teaching us so that we can receive what he wants to give us. And so we want to ask him right now in his will for those things that are heavy on our hearts. Some of you walked into this room this morning. You've got a burden on your shoulder. And we as brothers, remember the fellowship part, we're here to bear it with you. And we're here to bring it to God on your behalf. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to ask you to turn around, say to someone, how can I pray for you? Ask them what their name is, say, how can I pray for you? And it's just real simple. We're just going to take a few moments to do that. Again, I don't want out of control moments here. I don't want you to feel freaked out that you came to church this morning and now you got to get all weird. It's all good. You can pray alone and you can ask Jesus to heal you, to um, take that burden off your back. It's totally cool. But I would love for you to share with each other. That's why we come to church together, not to look at the head in front of you from the back. So turn around right now and take a moment. Say, how can I pray for you? And just pray over them right now, real quick in this room. Even when my eyes can't see And this mountain that's in front of me Will be thrown into the midst of the sea Thank you, Jesus And through it all, through it all My eyes are on you And through it all, through it all Through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you. It is well. It is well. So let go, my soul, and trust in Him. Waves and wind still know His name. So let go. Trust in him, the waves and wind still know his name. So let go my soul and trust in him, the waves and wind still know his name. The waves and wind still know. 
Through it all, through it all, my eyes are on. And through it all, through it all, it is well. And through it all, through it all, our eyes are on you. And it is well. Do you feel God's spirit moving in this room this morning? And you know what? Um, when God's spirit is moving, God's spirit is always drawing our attention to Jesus. And he gives us these elements that we call communion. And he tells us to do this in remembrance of him. He wants to draw our attention to himself. He wants our worship to be all about him. And he wants us to reset our focus in on him. If you take that bread out, Scripture tells us that as Jesus sat down with his disciples for dinner, he, he broke the bread and and gave thanks for it. Father God, I want to say thank you for sending us your son, Jesus. I thank you for the incredibly costly sacrifice that was made on Calvary's cross for the forgiveness of our sins. We are overwhelmed that you would do this for us, that you would leave heaven and pour out your love on us. so graciously. We thank you for the grace that despite what we had made of this life and of ourselves, you just offer us your love and your forgiveness. Jesus took the bread and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And then he took the cup. He said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Hebrews tells us that without the shedding of blood, there was no forgiveness for sin. And Jesus would leave us with this very visible reminder to remember him by. The grace that he would take all of the punishment for our sins and offer us forgiveness because he shed his blood so we didn't have to do it. And so we say thank you and we do this in remembrance of him. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Because I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus
break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over fear. stand against him and, and Jesus for my fam yes I speak the holy name what is it Jesus I think we need to stand for this one come on let's go let's go we're gonna shout shout Jesus from the mountain Jesus in the streets yes Jesus in
like to right now just pray a prayer, a blessing over you from the Old Testament of our scriptures. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.